Hello, Taurus. This is Tara Queen Jamila here to do your January 2018 Twin Flame Lovers. However, it's a singles reading. So this is for the Twin Flame couples primarily that have not been reunited. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button now. Just a disclaimer, this may or may, but I think it's going to be pretty accurate because I feel like the twin flames are all going through everything in divine timing anyway. So I think these are going to be crazily, strangely accurate. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoy these readings. Um, if you need a private reading, the link to my website is below. Okay. Um, also, I do provide spiritual services. My spell consultations are on sale still for 50 and they do include they do include a reading <laughs> candle over there sparking. All right. So I am going to call to the spirit guides for the Tauruses. We want to look at the Taurus twin flame couples. OK, that have not reunited for the singles out there. OK in particular. So it, you, it now whatever I see in here, if I see that you're with like a majority of you Tauruses or with your twin flame and it's a disaster, then I'll call it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I am going to ask spirit, show me what is Taurus's readiness for their twin flame. Okay. What is Taurus's sole purpose? What is Taurus's twin flame sole purpose? Okay, right now in January 2018, uh, what karmic issue or challenge is affecting the Taurus and what karmic issue or challenge is affecting Taurus's twin flame? How is Taurus and their twin flame already connected? Okay, and... Um, So this is how you recognize the connection and, you know, so how are you connected? And divine guidance, okay, show me the timing, possibly. Divine guidance about the synchronicities that will bring you together. So we may also see, you know, timing as far as when you'll be united. Um, and then outcome for Taurus's twin flame relationship okay what is the most likely outcome in terms of serving together with Taurus's twin flame in this incarnation okay and what message do you have particular for January 2018 all right that was a long divination goodness gracious a lot of people do that off you know they usually do that off camera but I don't know why I'm just in the habit of doing it on camera all right lay out the cards Hey, Taurus, so your readiness to serve in a twin flame capacity, you got the three of pentacles, okay? Feel as though this is representing it taking a little bit of hard work to make it work, okay? I feel as though the three of pentacles, it represents growth. It represents um, things happening, so I feel like your twin flame relationship is definitely going through a growth process, okay, with the three of pentacles. I feel as though there is possible, I feel as though it's good energy, but I also feel as though that three of pentacles is telling me that there could be a third party interference in the situation. Okay, so there could be some kind of third party interference. In fact, I'll go ahead and clarify over to the side here. Give me some more clarity. Is that three of pentacles some kind of third party interference? Maybe Taurus is working a lot. Maybe twin flame is working a lot. So we'll read more. Oh, yeah. And you know what? There's also the uh, possible issue. A lot of you Tauruses are kind of far away from your twin flame geographically. Okay, a lot of you are trying to 
uh, you know, make plans to either travel to your twin flame or you could currently right now, if you are with your twin flame, it's a possibility that you're talking about going to um, someplace else to be together. Because I do feel as though there's difficulty that's happening right now. However, however, you know, I feel as though a lot of you Tauruses are sort of far away and it's, it may not even be in, by distance or location. It could possibly have to do with just, you, you know, your attitude, uh, just as far as where you're at. You may have a lot of growing to do. So I feel like the Three of Pentacles is representing where uh, you guys are growing, possibly. OK. Um, OK, so your sole purpose. OK, right now, Taurus is the Three of Swords. So I feel like Taurus is either putting up a guard around themselves because they're still suffering from from getting their heart broke. They're holding on. I feel like Tauruses are definitely holding on to some stuff from the past, okay? And then I even also think that right now Tauruses could be in a position they could be in this in the mindset to where they're possibly hurting, you know, or trying to, you know, commit some kind of harm against their twin flame. It's a possibility. Okay, now your twin flame's sole purpose is, uh, well, their soul's purpose. So this is what they're doing in their own spirit. Okay, not sole purpose in your life, but what they're doing separately. Or it could be something they're working on separately within themselves. Or it could be something that they're working on inside of the relationship. Same difference, both. Okay, but the Queen of Wands is representing their spiritual purpose right now. What they're going through is growth and change. So the Queen of Wands, now your twin flame could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And, you know, I feel as though right now they're going through, you know, feeling very passionate about the things that they want because they possibly suffered you know, bad relationships. Let me get a, let me do a clarifier on this queen of wands. Okay. Yeah. The two of pentacles comes out for your twin flame as far as what their sole purpose is. So I feel like with the two of pentacles, they are, they possibly are trying to maybe possibly leave another relationship. Um, they could be spending a lot of time. I feel like you, a lot of you Tauruses may have a twin flame that could be work obsessed. They could be obsessed with work. Okay. And not really knowing how to balance their job. And then especially if they travel with their job. So I feel like your lover could be a traveler. Okay. Um, the karmic issue or challenge for the Taurus is the death card. Okay, now, and again, you guys are synchronized, so you're probably going through similar things. So what I say about your twin could be you and vice versa. So I feel like, again, there is a change that's coming up. I feel like Taurus definitely is closing one door and opening another. Okay, if, you know, there there's possibly a relationship that Taurus is walking away from or either trying to end at this point, because again, Taurus is hold on. They do. They don't even, they hold on when they don't even know that they're holding on. So I feel like that is a challenge, especially this month. And the death card is a pretty heavy card. Now your twin flames karmic issue or challenge um, is the hermit card. So I feel as though this is where your twin flame just kind of wants to go to work and come home. They kind of don't want to be bothered with anything. They kind of, and you know, you're more so uh, kind of, you know, all over the place. Okay, Taurus, you may be in a position right now where you're not, you know, there, or it could be them. They could be all over the place right now. Okay, but I feel like the hermit is representing uh, doing introspection. So I feel as though your twin flame is really, really looking at themselves and going through an inner change. And so they may right now not be talking to you. <clears throat> In fact, I feel as though if you ran across your twin flame, Taurus, 
you actually, you know, you 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 guys have already probably had a fallout with the death card coming up. So it may you may be feeling like it's over, but it's never over with your twin flame. Okay. Now you can set a time where you walk away, but you always will have that connection. Okay. Um, now, how Taurus is already connected to their twin flame is the King of Pentacles. Very interesting that this card will come up. Um, this is where your inner, where um, yeah, recognizing the connection. Definitely has to do with loyalty. Also, your twin flame may be kind of bipolar. They may be one minute they're up, one minute they're down. But it's because they're trying to balance themselves out. Okay, fire sign people, especially if they're a fire sign, they could be earth also. Feel as though this, I'm trying to not clarify this card and just kind of go with my intuition. feel like King of Pentacles, it does represent the Taurus sort of blocking it off. Not really. I feel like that's why I'm a little confused about this King of Pentacles, which the King of Pentacles does represent you, Taurus, because that is your, you know, that's an Earth card. So I do feel as though you're sort of, it hasn't clicked for you yet. It hasn't exactly hit you yet. Okay. For some of you. Now, I'm going to clarify what this King of Pentacles is talking about. So this is, again, how you connect. Spirit, give me some clarity on King of Pentacles because I was kind of confused just going from there. Okay, Two of Cups. So I feel as though this is where definitely sensing a deeply you know, very, I, you know, I feel as though this is a very, very deep connection. But again, I feel as though Taurus is kind of blocking it out. I don't know why I'm sensing that. So if I'm right about that, just let me know in the comments. <laughs> feel like Taurus is definitely blocking it out, trying not to see it or either trying not to feel. I feel like there's something going on there. Okay. Divine guidance about the synchronicities that will bring you together is the uh, Seven of Wands. So I do feel as though there is a huge, huge hurdle right now as far as you guys meeting up. There's some blockages going on. Whether or not it's a, you know, it's a blockage, which is possibly could be another relationship. Let's throw the cards and see what it is. What is this blockage? What's going on with the Seven of Wands? Give me some clarity on this for the Tauruses. Yeah, the Two of Swords. So again, I feel as though Taurus has already left a bad situation. Twin Flame is still currently in a situation. <laughs> That's what I'll tell you. I uh, feel like family and friends is saying, you know, you, you kind of don't. Like, I feel as though that's what the holdup is. And so I kind of feel as though on some level, I do see some changes coming up for the month of February. But I feel as though as far as timing, it could happen anywhere between the month of February and July when you actually connect or, you know, come back together. Okay, that's going to be different for different ones of you who have different circumstances. Also, I feel as though this two of swords coming up, this is where one or both twins is not really making their own choices. So you're having a hard time making decisions and choices and possibly looking at the outcome, at least for now, it shows the most likely outcome in terms of serving together in this incarnation. Now, the first thing that I will tell you is that I feel as though for a lot of you Tauruses, you could possibly pass that person up. It's a possibility that you could make a decision to not deal with that person, but then come to find out they actually are somebody special to you. 
So I feel as though the Eight of Wands is representing, you know, making your choices and your decisions carefully. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like that's why that Eight of Wands comes up, at least for now. I mean, that's going to be different for different ones of you. But I feel as though the Eight of Wands is representing making decisions too fast, just not taking the time to... Uh, to think things through on some level. So I feel as though the Eight of Wands is representing to me kind of making the decision to not deal with the relationship, but you should just be a little bit more, I don't want to say patient, but you should be a little bit more understanding, okay, to is what is going on. So yeah, that's going to do it for your Twin Flame reading for January 2018. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you want a personal private reading, the link to my website is below. Talk to you guys later. Namaste.